Scale insects are strange tiny animals, often with no visible legs or antenna. They kind of look like plant pimples. Cochineal scales live on prickly pear and cover their wee bodies in a white fluffy wax. Why are these little insects so red under all that fluff? The shell of the cochineal contains vibrant red chemical carminic acid. This color actually evolved to repel ants. The Aztecs and Incas in Central and South America were the first to discover ways to use cochineal bugs to make pigments that could color fabrics and other materials. This dye was once so highly prized that bags of the dried bugs were used as currency. The Spaniards who colonized these areas in the 1500s took the cochineal process back to Europe. The red color was used to dye the coats of Catholic cardinals and the jackets that gave the British red coat soldiers their name. We use this dye today in candy, like food like Jello, and even makeup. If the list of ingredients on a product list carmine or carminic acid, it was made from the cochineal insect. Cochineal goes by different names on food and cosmetic labels, such as cochineal, carmine, carminic acid, natural red 4, or E120. Carminic acid is pH dependent. pH is a measure of hydrogen ion concentration, a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of a solution. You can change the color of this dye from dark purple to light orange, depending on whether you add an acid or a base. In the following video, after I make the dye, I'm going to change it by adding a base, which is our sodium carbonate, and an acid, which will be vinegar. So I'm going to start by grinding up some of the cochineal using a mortar and pestle. It needs to be ground up to a fine powder, and you can see how the red is already starting to show. Next, I'm going to add some water in order to make our dye more liquid. I'm going to use my pipette to divide up the cochineal dye into three sections so that we can do our experiment to see how we can change the colors by adding a base and an acid. So I'm going to make a little extra of the red by adding some more water and then I'm going to drop some on the paper towel on the side. I want you to check later on to see if that red is still a bright red. So our first experiment is going to be adding vinegar to the cochineal and you can see what happens right away. So what color did it change? Right, that's an orange, and I'm going to drop some on the side so you can see on the white paper towel what that orange color looks like. In the third section, I'm going to add this sodium carbonate and look to see what happens. What color did I make? It's a beautiful purple, isn't it? I'm going to drop some on the, on the side so you can see how it looks. Well, now I thought it would be fun to see if I could change them back. If I added an acid to the side where the base was, oh, look what happened. It made it orange, but it's not quite the same orange as the first one, is it? So then I decided to go back and add the sodium carbonate to the side where it had the acid in. What happened? Oh, we get purple again. Is it quite the same? Is it the same as the first purple or just a little bit different? So I could keep mixing and experimenting and coming up with all kinds of oranges and purples and reds. And that's kind of what I did. And this is some fabric that I dyed with the cochineal colors that I made and then I turned it into a pillow.